Hello, potential librarian. Okay, are you Mr. Fletcher? No, you are not. You are a brown coat. So you're another potential farmer. Ah. Okay, stay still, please. Um. This. Yay! Okay, so the rails are still set up, right? Let's make sure all the switches are in the right position. <clears throat> I could make these switches remotely controllable. I could create a little control panel. Okay, he'll go into that little waiting cell there. Very good. Let's go take care of this. Um, yeah. So, we're back. I kind of was hoping to go to the castle this afternoon. It's currently Friday. Uh, for the Friday lunch... And I wanted to see uh, Laura London performing for, at the Friday lunch. Uh, unfortunately, I've been super tired. And I went, uh, the dogs got dropped back off. We send them up to a place called Paradise for Pets when we go on vacation. And they came back this morning at like 7 a.m. So I had to get up early to be able to uh, whoops uh, oh, that'll work um okay so I got three guys here all right so is there a phantom block there <clears throat> all right uh, so the dogs came back and I had not slept particularly well over the course of the oh another brown coat hello grab you too never have too many farmers hi um, you've got an apron oh. And I can call some of these guys so we get more babies. Baby Nitwit. Don't really need them, but... Okay. Okay, so I've got you... Right where I want you. Okay, let's go check out the situation on the other side. So, Laura London is a um, London-based magician. I've never seen her perform live. Um, and she is somebody I've always wanted to. Uh, she's performing this week. She's actually lecturing on Sunday. I'd very much like to see that. Unfortunately, I've got uh, plans on Sunday. I'm going to be at Crash Space for the 3D printer stuff. Uh, so, she's performing in the close-up gallery, which is pretty exciting. Um, so, after the dogs got, uh, dropped off, uh, I went back to bed. I ended up sleeping until almost one o'clock. Uh, and the, so it was basically too late for the, the Friday lunch, uh, to sort of get organized for that quickly enough. So, ah, okay. So. Um, so no go on that. So I've got three guys here, and these are all carrot farmers. I've got two nitwits here. I've got a carrot farmer here. I've got my phantom potato farmer. I didn't need because I converted somebody else. And I've got one carrot farmer here. So I've got one, two... Three, four, five. Now I've got three more farmers over there. So five, eight. That's more than enough, right? Let me check. Or did I put ten layers in here? I might need... 
let me go count I forget because I've got these guys piled up I mean I could put another layer in here if I really wanted to hi mr. potato farmer you're still doing a good job Just double check to make sure there's no poison potatoes going on in here. Thank you. Blop. Very good. So I've got <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. I got ten layers. Okay. Good. So I need a couple more. So uh, that's good. I've got four captured farmers over there. I've got five here. That's nine. I need one more. Should not be a problem. Um, probably the best thing to do now is pull those carrot farmers out of the carrot farming pens the cleansing pens and put a couple more of the and make space so put them over here because these guys have been cleaned um, so I need a couple things for that right I need boats and I need a piston and I have switches in my pocket just because wait oh Boats are in here. Why do I have a minecart in here? Okay. Um, piston. I think I've got a piston in here. If not, I know where I can get one. Huh. Okay. Am I just blind? No. Okay. So, I've got redstone components in here, including... Pistons. I need a piston. Put you back. All right. I came up with a way of doing this. Uh, I need carrots as well. Do I have a fortune? Yeah, I've got my fortune axe. Yeah. Okay. So touch pick. Okay. Good. <coughs> Um, anyway, so I may go see Laura London Friday or Saturday night. Those are the last two nights that she's uh, performing that I will be able to see her. She is... Um... Ah! Dang it. That's okay. Let's get my... Uh... Nope. Let's get my fortune axe. Take care of some of these things. Do I have my hoe on me? No, of course not, because that would have been smart. All right, so I need to switch back to my Silk Touch Axe. What happened there? Oh, okay. I really did not mean to do that, but it's okay. We can deal with it. And then I can put dirt back down here and I need to I need to get my hoe I have a hoe somewhere well, I have one in my ender chest but I think I have one in the box over here I can borrow. so so anyway I may go either tonight or tomorrow night to see Laura London perform in in the close-up gallery at the castle, I probably will go late because it is um, she performs. She's doing the late show, so she's got a okay. So it's this one here, three, and let me get a boat. <laughs> it's crazy that I can do that. 
Yes. Um, <clears throat> and the castle filled up on Thursday, um, which is a little, it's a little surprising because it's not, um, it's usually not one of the busy nights, but, uh, but it filled up. Okay, and then, oh, I could have left that there. Let's grab this. Um, got this andesite. Put it down here. Put my lever on that. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. Did not work out the way I had thought. Okay. Oh, that's the way I did it. Okay. Okay, so put him over here. Uh, anyway, so I got um, got notification that the castle had reached capacity on Thursday, which is unusual for a Thursday night, I believe. Uh, so I suspected that because she's there and some of the other people that are there this week, that uh, it was a little bit busier than usual. So um, I... I, I think Friday and Saturday are going to be busy. They get real busy anyway, and so I have a feeling that they're going to be busy days. So that's uh, so I might go basically late and with the intention to just of seeing her, uh, and then uh, call that call that a day. <laughs> um, going for like one of the really late shows we'll see uh, hopefully things start to slow down a little bit um, after you know after 10 30 or so um, so that that is my strategy we'll see if it works um, put this down there and get my piston back uh, I can dig out these and put these down here and hoe them. <clears throat> and plant some carrots. And I'll extract the dude from over there. And then I'll have two pens where I can put new farmers from uh, from the pyramid these guys are potato farmers but I may turn this back into like a potentially potato farming I don't know we'll see still bothered by the fact that I'm missing a villager from there but whatever so uh, let's see here ah good look at my Fortune axe. Clear out some working space. Get me some more carrots. I don't need this much working space, but hey. Carrots go up there. I got a boat. Uh -huh. Huh. Hi, buddy. You want to get a boat? Ha! Ah, yes. Thank you. Uh huh. Um. Um. Wait. I hear zombie. Oh, I wonder if there's like husks over there. Okay. So we're gonna do this. Oh, I didn't put the piston in place, but that's okay. I think we can work around it. And switch to I pickaxe. Fortunately, dirt is not a gravity block. Oh, yeah, that's right. And we can... Can sand carry a redstone signal? We'll find out. Yes, it can. We'll put this 
turn under there. There we go. Huh. Huh. There we go. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So, and I need to look at who's coming up next week at the castle. And, because uh, I have to feel like I have to make up for lost time. Um, and I have a, I have a friend who's a member, uh, who I've been talking to. He's one of my references. He helped me sort of prepare for my audition and he has some projects that he wants to do. I can take advantage of some of the tools that we have at Crash Space. So he's got a uh, magic prop that he wants to build um, that is a thing. Not the most uh, well-known prop in the world, but uh, at least I'd never heard of it. And he said most of the people that he talks to uh, in the magic community have never heard of it either. Uh, but it is a thing. People sell it. Um, but uh, they charge a lot of money for it. And it's effectively just pieces of plastic. Which is kind of surprising. So, um, the idea is uh, that I think I can make these pieces of plastic uh, and do it much, much more cheaply, and we can do it in a customized way. So we're going to explore. Oh, pardon. Oh, goodness, pardon me. We're going to explore doing that, uh, which I think is a kind of a cool thing. I like the idea of mixing um, technology and magic. I mean, there's places where it happens all the time, uh, but even just in some of the basic stuff, uh, there are people and companies who specialize in making uh, magic props. Oh, I've got that one over there. Ah, yeah. I had to break a couple here just to get in the boat. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, okay, so I now have two pens full of carrots and if I put potatoes that are contaminated or farmers that are contaminated with potatoes in it they will start farming the carrots and re and planting the potatoes from their inventory and then I can go um, behind them dig up the the potatoes that they plant replace them with carrots and eventually it will clear out their inventory so they will not be carrying any potatoes it's the idea seems to work uh, so I need a couple more. So I will keep this here, put this here. Um, I need a couple of those again. So right now I've got five farmers here that have nothing but carrots, in theory. Okay, so let's go pull some of these guys over and see what we can do. In case I haven't mentioned, these fences, fence gates I have in place as kind of an airlock. If I open up these like this, you can walk through it or sail a boat through it containing a villager. Um, but if I close them, the villager won't be able to walk past it. So uh, I can pull in a guy in here and then release him from the boat and then he won't be able to escape. That's the idea. It's probably overkill having two sets, but figure why not okay so so yeah um hope next week to take advantage of my membership at the castle and go see more magic um oh when i saw zabrecki uh we uh, ex tested some stuff off of the bar menu uh and they had these uh chicken tacos that were really yummy they had like street style chicken tacos that were pretty good they were gluten-free, did not appear to make me sick, which is awesome. And then uh, they also have like a cheese plate and they have a couple of other things that look like I could eat them. So I could go there, not have to necessarily, 
eat a full dinner. Okay, I'm gonna switch this here. So anybody comes along here, blah, blah, blah. So I can take these guys out of here, and put them in there. But I have one guy over here in a cart. So let's go get him out of here and into more babies. Hi. Hi, potential librarian. I want you to be safe. Don't need you to be going into the nether. Potential nitwit, I need you to grow up so I can dispose of you. And brown coat. You're a shepherd, but that's okay. Go for a ride. I'll switch back to my pick. Blop. Now he should be over there by the nether portal. He is. Now when in mine carts, they can actually go through through uh, trap doors. So that works. Uh, and I can open up the trap doors and then I can walk through them. Okay. All right, and let me turn on the hip boxes so I can do this. Ah, he just went through the portal. Mine card appears to have gone through as well. So let's step through and see what we get. Ah, I just picked up the uh, the mine card. Now he'll stand there until I push him out. Now he's on the ground, and I can get him in the boat. Closer to the center. Uh, why am I not able to place the boat? Ah, there we go. Now I can cart him through the uh, through the nether, through my little nether nether hub. There we go. Anyway, um, I don't have a whole lot else to talk about. I have to go back to work this week. Have a few things to take care of. They moved some equipment while I was out. I need to test it to make sure that it's still working properly. I think it will be. I don't expect any difficulties, but that'll give me something to do. And. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, and then also I have to get prepped for, um, cruise. Uh, need to buy some new shoes. I need to buy shoes that are a little bit more comfortable for, for walking in than what I currently wear. I typically wear, I have a pair of, uh, Converse or like their professional skateboarder version of Converse. All Stars, um, uh, which is fine and dandy. They are actually super comfortable. People don't think of Converse as being comfortable, but I find that they f they uh, they suit my feet better than uh, anything else. Um, I have a pair of All Birds, which are super comfy for like sitting around in and moving around roughly, but they're not good for long distance walking. At least I don't find them to be comfortable for that. Uh, so I need to probably need a pair of hiking shoes so that when we get off the boat at the various ports in uh, Europe, that we will be able to be comfortably get around. Uh, in some cases, you know, it'll just be walking in the cities that we're in. Um, oh, whose eye line is that? Must have a pig man right down there or something. So see, I open these, I can sail right through. And then I can turn around and close them again. And if I get out here, I sometimes, depending on where it puts me out of the boat, sometimes I take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. All right, and now, uh, if I get back to my axe and again with hitboxes so I don't 
accidentally hurt the the villager. So that was not the intention. Uh, <clears throat> he gets out of the boat. I think he made the damage he may have taken may have been from a brief amount of suffocation damage, but we'll take care of that. Fortunately, just pushing him. I was about to say just push him into the portal doesn't uh, usually solve it. He has to actually walk while he's in the portal. And if he's just standing on the portal frame, he will not go through the portal. I got lucky there. So now I have to come out on this side, find him. Oh, hi. And uh, get him into the boat before he decides this is the worst place in the world. gracious okay so now we need to get him over to one of the carrot farms and then elevate him up over the oh you know what haha <laughs> no I can just break the fence and sail in uh, and replace the fence I don't need to worry so much can't do that on the way out because the farmland is a little bit shorter than the than dirt or the surrounding sandstone and fortunately you can't go up even even like one texture map pixel but if I do this and do this I can go down onto the farmland and then I can put, um, there's my other fence gates. There's my other fences. Oh, they're there. They fell out. Okay. Put back on hit boxes. And there we go. Hey, buddy. There you go. Have at it. You're a farmer, or you can farm. You're actually a shepherd, but. <clears throat> Never mind me. Get out of his action range. Eventually, he will see that he's standing in a field of carrots. And I don't think his inventory will be filled up with potatoes. That could be a problem. But I think he'll farm even if it is. Oh. Huh. There he goes. Yeah, I kicked in. You could do it. Might take him a little bit. What else do I need for my trip? I need to test. I have a um I have a lens adapter for my my uh, Nikon Z6 that will let me use the older um <clears throat> Nikon mount lenses. Ah. Oh. Uh, and I have I have some of those older lenses uh, So I need to test that with like one of my zoom lenses and see how good of a zoom that gets me because I'd like a good long lens for use while I'm on the cruise um, and <clears throat> Especially when we get to like I think we're gonna go to Pompeii, which I think will be super exciting Huh. Huh. 
Why you no farm? Huh. Uh, we also need... I need new luggage before we go. Uh, the luggage that I've been using will work. It's just a pain in the butt. Uh, it doesn't have... You know, it's, it's hard to move around. It's got wheels on the bottom, but doesn't have, like, good, like, full spinners like a lot of the newer um, luggage has. Okay, let me go get a friend for you. And see if you just start farming if I go far enough away. If his inventory is filled... Uh oh, zombie pig man might be an issue. Oh, actually, he will be an issue. Okay. <clears throat> Don't want to bring a villager through while the zombie pig man's there. Okay. Um, luggage, camera gear, shoes. That'll be the the biggest. Those are the biggest things. Uh, and I also need more. I need like shoes and shirts for the Magic Castle because they have a dress code and I have to wear a tie. Oh, look. Wither skeletons. Let's see if I can get a wither skull. Um, and I have, I, have, I have a couple of shirts that will... Damn it. That will work okay. Um... But I don't have... Okay, no skulls there. Uh, but I need... I need shirts. And uh, I don't... Off-the-shelf shirts don't generally fit me especially well. Uh, so I need to get... I need to get tailored shirts. Oh, skull! Yay! Um, so I'm, I've been going around researching local tailors here in Los Angeles that will... Oh, I thought I saw a couple guys down here. They may have despawned. Uh, that will um, that will do custom shirts. Um, that would be nice. And if I can find somebody that I really like, I could also use a another jacket. Because I have a sports coat that I wear. And it's fine. It works. Um, but... Having more than one would be a good thing, I would think. Uh, so I may as well get like a suit jacket so I can either wear the sports coat or the suit jacket. Uh, we'll see. All right. So let me go get another dude and try this again. I now have three more wither skeleton skulls. I could do another wither fight. Not going to do that just yet, but... Um, hi. Whoa, dude, where are you going? Where are you going? It's not safe out here. It's not safe out here. There we go. Whew. So anyway, um, I think that's it. I'm going to shuffle a couple more of these guys around. Then I have a couple things to take care of at the house here. And... Um, and we've been recording for an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, I, there's, this may end up being two episodes again. Um, I have to get better at sort of gauging time. But, uh, there we go. Oh, how'd he get down there? All right, doesn't matter. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.